All right, folks, welcome back to Dodongo's Cavern. There isn't much over here. I think these are just a couple of rupees. Oh, no, it's a Deku Shield. Good stuff. Good stuff. I was going to say, I do, need to, I do need to buy one, but I guess I really don't. Now the way to the boss is open. Sort of. There's still a couple things we gotta do in this room here. They don't make it easy on us. Give me some hearts, please? No? Okay. You still gotta do a little bit of loop-de-loop -loop nonsense. But we are getting dangerously close to the boss. Ow. That's oh, great, you gave me ammo, but I need hearts. I don't want to die in here. And I'm most assuredly going to. Oh, I will take a fairy. That is as good as hearts. Although, if there is another one in any of these other jars, I would like to capture it. But if fairies do respawn, I'll come back and bottle one. Always good in this game to have a bottled fairy. Can't tell you how many times it saved my bacon. Gotcha. Yay, rupees I don't need. Yay, slingshot ammo. Okay. Now we've got a block to actually successfully pull the switch over. And then, behind this next door should be the boss. And this is another fairly easy boss. So I'm not terribly worried about how well this is going to go. Now let me just make sure I've got full... Alright. I don't really need my slingshot. Because again, like most bosses, your key item is going to be your... boss fighting item. And that's, that's the hint right there. This is a cool looking boss. Infernal Dinosaur, King Dodongo. And I really like his boss theme. What you want to do is you want to throw the bombs. Slash. And watch out for his roll. Very easy. That slash should do a lot more damage. He's very easy to dodge. In case you couldn't tell. I was hoping to do no damage, but unfortunately, 
Something like that's not gonna happen. But we got him. That is King Dodongo done. So those first two bosses, Queen Gama and King Good King uh Dodongo. Stupidly easy. They're more a visual spectacle than anything. But the third boss that we have to face here, I think, is when the boss difficulty officially starts to ramp up. Even though I think it's pretty easy. Got a heart container! Yay! And upward we go! Upward and outward. Well, we did it. You guys can eat now. Uh, nice trying to kill me there, pal. I could see who you were. <laughs> Again. Way to try to kill me. It sounds like I was doing you guys a favor. Now you're just gonna gorge yourselves. So he's going to give me the uh, second stone, which is very nice. I think my favorite design stone is probably the third one, even though it's my least favorite to get. You obtain the Goron's Ruby, the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. And I'm treading that one. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Let's see off our brother. Yeah, we'll do that. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Yeah, I'm with Link. I don't want to die. Just let me be on my way. Okay. All right, now that we do have... ...bombs, we can go up here. That's the wrong C button. Then this rock can be a little tricky. You have to hit it in midair. Just like that. There we go. All right. And then, I guess I might as well show it off because I don't know if I'll remember to come back here. But there is a secret if you bomb this rock. And unfortunately, I mean, there's a couple of rupees, but there's also a cow in here. And there's some hearts. This is like a general refill area, but the cow does have a purpose. And we won't find out what that purpose is until much later. Now, if you played the game, you know exactly what the cow is there for. But if you haven't played the game, we can't come back until we get a certain ocarina song for us to really utilize what the cow is there for. Okay. 
Alright, this is really annoying. But thankfully... It doesn't last for too long, and if you just keep moving, you shouldn't die. Alright, wanted to get that heart. This one has ledges because these, uh... Sculptulas go, I think, mostly up this cliff. There comes the moon. Boy, it's coming up fast. Alright. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Only a few of them. But here we are at the top of Death Mountain. And we see... Our creepy owl friend. You've done well to come all the way up here, Link. This is the summit of the sacred Death Mountain. Hoot! It is said that the clouds surrounding this peak reflect the condition of Death Mountain. When they look normal, it is at peace. Climbing up here just proves how smart you are. Doesn't it prove more or less how strong I am? Great Fairy lives on this mountaintop, and she will give you a new skill. She is the leader of the fairies, you know. I'll perch here and wait for you. When you're ready to go back down, I can help you. Now get going. Alright. The night did not last very long up here. So this is our first Great Fairy Fountain. It won't be the last. I don't remember what she gives you. But... Get your ocarina out. Alright. Already forgetting Ocarina of Songs. That's wonderful. It is great to play the Ocarina with actual C buttons again, as opposed to the second analog stick on the Pro Controller. Makes it a lot easier. Or a second analog stick on the second Joy-Con. Whatever you happen to be playing it on. And this is the worst great fairy design in the entire series. I don't even know what this is. It's the stuff of nightmares. Oh, okay, so this... I'm remembering. Now we get the charge sword technique. And she also refills our health. So if we ever are fully low on health and have no way to recharge, and we're near a Great Fairy's Fountain, that's probably the only reason to come back. But trust me, I want to avoid coming back as much as possible. This design is freaky, and it's just weird. I think some people think that the four-armed great fairies in Wind Waker are a little bit weirder, but... Nah, this one, this one's weird. It's like a poison ivy type... Like, like, leaf tunic type weird forest thing. Alright. You know what? I am actually gonna do that. I forget what she does, but what she's basically saying is there's a second, um... There's a second Great Fairy's Fountain, but now we have the ability... Charge our sword. Hold down B. And release. And that uses some magic. It is not a very useful skill. It is cool looking. I remember the first time I saw it, I thought, this is cool, it, it looks cool, it sounds cool. It's pretty useless. Alright. Alright, let's go back down the mountain. This is the quickest way to do so.
just basically watch this cutscene. Again, they are trying to show off as much of the 3D environment as they can. And you'll land up here. Alright. Cool stuff. Oh shoot, there's actually, um... Darn it. I could have gotten a heart piece, I think, that way. Oh well. For right now... We're gonna take that Great Fairy's advice and go to the second Great Fairy's Fountain. First time getting a magic jar, they refill our magic meter. And you know what? Now that we are out of Death Mountain, I'm gonna equip the Deku Shield again. So let's go back to Hyrule Castle real quick and get that other great fairy. And then we'll make our way to where we can get the third stone. I don't know if we've seen Hyrule Castle Town during the day. Or market, as they call it in this game. This is where time stands still, so if it's daytime here... It'll stay daytime until we go to Hyrule Castle itself. So now to get to this great fairy, we've got to go like we would going into the castle, but instead of going straight in that direction, we're gonna go down here. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Running low on bombs. And go through this hole. And Great Fairy's Fountain. This one's got green flames. And it's the exact same model. They weren't even trying to do anything different. One thing I do like about Majora's Mask, and that's not a game I actually like, is when they did the designs of the Great Fairies, they, I think they gave them different colored hair. Oh, that's why this is green, because she gives you a... Uh... Oh no, maybe that's not it. Because it's a red... This is, um, Din's Fire, I believe. Yeah, it's Din's Fire. But, um, yeah, all the fairies are named. There's more than one great fairy. It is very useful. It is one of three magical abilities you get. Din's Fire, uh... Ferio, Pharaoh's Wind, and uh, Nairu's Love. Nairu's Love being a shield of sorts. So. And that works out, because I need to get out of here anyway. It'd be nice if I could find some bombs. I might go to the shop and try to get some. Shouldn't have to use the shop too much. I 
That's one thing that's a little bit jarring is when you get into the marketplace or in some sort of places, you're facing a different direction, so you have to change the direction of the analog stick if you're going forward. Alright. Alright. Alright, so I don't have enough rupees, but at least I've got more bombs. Rupees are not exactly hard to get. Alright, so on to Zara's Domain. Which... It's got a cool theme, and kind of looks cool, but not a big fan of the Zoras. Just very off-putting, and you'll, you'll see why. Maybe not more off-putting than the Great Fairies, but pretty off-putting. And again, this is redundant if you've played the game before, which I don't know how many people watching this have or haven't. But this is just a casual beginning to end let's play, something I've wanted to do. It's nothing new, but I want to play through the game from start to finish, getting as much as I can. Obviously not going to get everything. There are guides on how to get things. So if you're playing along and you want to 100% it, be sure to use a guide. So I can't even remember where everything is. One thing that this charge ability is useful for is if you find a clump of uh, bushes like this, you can get them all in one shot. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already. Uh, flattery will get you nowhere, sir. Zora's Domain. I'm not going to read all these out. I was trying to decide, do I want to read these out or do I not? I'm probably not going to read most of them. Alright. That owl's name is... Kabora Gabora, I believe. Kapora Gabora. Because of course it is. Don't need to break all of these rocks, but... Forget why there's a Kaku here. It has nothing to do with any of the other Kaku quests that are around. So we'll get to Zoro's Domain, and then I think we'll call it a video here. Zoro's Domain is pretty easy to get to. And you can see a floating heart piece there. I might try to get that one, but we're a long ways off from being able to get it decently. But we do need to go in this general direction. Alright. More rupees? And we just play the song in front of the waterfall, and it should open up to us. And here is Zora's Domain. A lot of water reflection effects are everywhere. 
and the Zoras themselves? This would be them. Fish people. It's kind of fish elf hybrids. Very strange. Anyways, folks, that is going to do it for us. And I will see you in the next part. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been Super Koopa. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.